back to our Cross Canada tour. This is part two of day 19. In this episode, we bike from the Saskatchewan border to more Saskatchewan. Uh, during this day, we had biked quite far, so we'd taken very little breaks this day. Our first break was at an information center uh, north of Maple Creek, and we had a quick little lunch there. And then immediately after we got on our bikes, I had gotten a flat. So we had to fix my flat right on the side of the Trans-Canada Highway. After we fixed my flat, we headed to Swift Current, and we had stopped in Swift Current, and we got taco time because it was Taco Tuesday. Across the street was a McDonald's, and we met a fellow cyclist from Quebec. He was traveling from Quebec all the way to Vancouver. He was going west into this wind, and he was totally exhausted. Felt very sorry for him. He was making arrangements for staying in Swift Current that day. After that, Joshua and I headed over to the east side of Swift Current and went to the Sport Check. And we met Soji, a subscriber and follower of our channel. It's really cool to meet him. He is also a fellow cyclist. We have a photograph of him. And he was traveling, I believe, from Toronto to Vancouver. And he said that this wind had just totally exhausted him. He was done for the day and was trying to make arrangements to stay in Swift Current that night. Joshua and I picked up a spare tube at the sport check for his bike because he did get a flat. And we continued to travel to more Saskatchewan. We wanted to take advantage of this northwest wind and get as far as possible. And we did. We traveled 285 kilometers this day. Unfortunately, the wind distorted the audio on our video, and so the quality is not that great. But we did overlay uh, music in post-production. So enjoy this episode. Here we are at the Saskatchewan border now. The land of the living skies. Welcome to Saskatchewan. Place where we used to live. Porta potties here. All right. At the Saskatchewan border, we had a small celebration. We made it back onto Highway One so we could take advantage of the wind this day. Regina, 405, Swift Current, 169, Maple Creek, 48. I thought that was the same number that was on the last board for Swift Current. Somewhere they miscalculated, I think. We are now breathing in Saskatchewan air. Awesome. So nice in here. Josh and I are finally able to bike side by side together. Traveling east on the number one highway. And uh, going up a pretty steep hill here. It's a little tiring. We should be at the Information Tourist Center very soon, which is just north of Maple Creek. We're going to have an early lunch there, uh, get some Gatorade, bang out some more clicks. Yeah, and bang out some more clicks. We might even have some uh, blocks, cliff blocks to choose. Very beautiful in here. See a long ways away from here. you can see behind us look at how far Josh you can see I know I'm looking wow I think this is one of the highest points in Saskatchewan right now looking into Saskatchewan oh look at that Josh look at how far that's got to be miles and miles and miles you can watch your dog run away for a week 
Yeah, up here. That's for sure. Maple Creek is 10 kilometers, but you have to go 10 kilometers south of Highway 1 in order to get there. So the information center must be right where those trees are. That's where the highway going south is to Maple Creek. But we're going to go on continuing east on Trans Canada Highway, number one highway. of Maple Creek and Leader. We're also at the National Historical Sites, Fort Walsh, Cypress Hills Massacre, south two kilometers. rest area and eating a early lunch. Southwest Sask Visitor Center. Next right. There's a fuel station to the north side. As you can see, the access to Maple Creek is one kilometer, and I believe you have to still travel 10 kilometers south in order to get to Maple Creek. So, that's that. We're back on the Trans-Canada Highway. Joshua was right, the Piat is 24. It's after that visitor center, you were right. Tompkins is after that, Gall Lake, then Swift Current. I think Swift Current is attainable. We're gonna have Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, here we come.
able to hear or see those trees. It is extremely windy here. It's extremely difficult to bike in this. I'm trying to get to the taco time and rest. That highway is extremely, extremely windy. We're leaving Swift Current and the sign is over here. We're not going to get a picture because it's just so windy to get over across and back. But there it is, Swift Current. Uh, we're hopefully, hopefully getting to Morris tonight, maybe sleeping there. Ideally it would be Moose Jaw, but we'll see what happens. Stop in Morris for the night, the campground. I'm getting a little exhausted. We're not quite in Morris, we're going uphill. This is a town called Herbert. Morris is the town after this. Hopefully, we can get up earlier in the morning and go again. Our mind is a little rested as well as our body so that we can make good fast, decisive decisions. So Herbert is in one kilometer. windy and I lost all the battery power for the Insta360, the camera there. So that's why I'm using this. We're going to come into this town. Uh, we know there's a campground here because we've stayed here before four years ago. And to the south of us is Reed Lake. Tuesday, July 18th, the day after our rest day in Medicine Hat. I don't know what day it is anymore. All I know is that we broke our all-time record of how many kilometers we did in a day. It used to be 225. Today we set a new record of 282 clicks in one day. We're now staying at Morris, Saskatchewan at the campground. We stayed here four years ago, and um, 
We'll see what it's like in the morning. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to rain maybe. The wind is supposed to pick up, so we don't know how far we'll get tomorrow. Maybe Moose Jaw, maybe farther. We'll see. I'm tired. We're going to get to bed. Good night. Good night. See, this thing is recording again automatically. Why, why is it doing that? You know, I don't know why. But, uh... Okay, I got video, so... This is uh, Morris, Saskatchewan. And uh, we're going to stay here overnight. And now I need to take a picture. I guess this will be a part of the outtakes.